Objective four, evaluate expressions with more than one variable. Example, translate the phrase into a mathematical expression. Then evaluate the expression for x is equal to 16 and y is equal to four. So for part A, the quotient of x and y. So since this is division, order matters, and since, since x is, writ is written first, it's gonna be x divided by y. Well, x is 16, y is four, so 16 divided by four is equal to four. For part B, the difference of x and y. When we talk about subtraction, order matters. x is listed first, so that's why it's x minus y. Plugging in x to be 16, y to be four, 16 minus four is equal to 12. The sum of x and y. x plus y is equal to 16 plus four, which is equal to 20. And the product of x and y is x, y, or x times y, which is equal to 16 times four, which is equal to 64. Another example, if Sheldon makes D dollars per hour and works for T hours in a shift, then the total amount that Sheldon makes in a shift is D times D T dollars. Evaluate D T for D, which is equal to 15 and T is equal to five. And then what does this result mean in this situation? So dt, we're gonna plug in 15 for d, and t is gonna equal five. So 15 times five is equal to 75. Now, what does this result mean in this situation? Well, that means that if Sheldon makes $15 per hour and works five hours, then he'll make $75. Next example. If Bob has X number of dogs, and y dog treats, then the number of treats that each dog will get is y divided by x. We want to evaluate y divided by x for when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 18. And then what does this result mean in this situation? y divided by x, plugging in the values for y to be 18 and x to be 3, 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Now, how do we translate this result in this situation? Well, if Bob has three dogs and 18 treats, each dog will get six treats. 